gals, let's tell Toxic when we get in. Welcome back to Let's Play. Your skills at this game are of some renown. It's only self renown, but that's good enough for you. Okay. We Unfortunately, can, uh, nah. this particular machine doesn't work. Yeah, we can't actually do anything with that machine. But anyway, welcome back to Let's Play uh, Space West 2 Volhall's Revenge, the remake. In the last episode, we just ended up playing Troll's Tale the whole time. You start pressing buttons until one of them finally opens the doors. Yes, that is true. In the last part, we just played Troll's Tale the whole time, so this episode we're actually going to do some adventuring. And the music here is pretty loud, so I'm just going to turn it down. Can we enter this door? This door is locked. Yeah, I thought so. How about this one? Da -da -da. Music's catchy. This door is locked. Yeah, it's locked. I need the key. Well, uh, actually, you want to save here, because there is a rather lethal... It would be tempting to transport your hand up to Volhall's floor to give him the finger from a distance. However, the plan would require you to maim yourself, which would make you a sad panda. What the f... <laughs> okay, that's not what I tried to do, but thanks for the insight, narrator. And now, let's go to the bottom part of this area. And why I said to save is because this thing... Okay. Will it kill me from this distance? Oh, it won't. Okay, never mind. I might actually be able to win this, then. That scrubbing bubbles thing is pretty lethal. It will kill you in one hit. It looks harmless, but it's not. Luckily, though, I don't think I will be killed by it. And let's take a look over here. There's a room. The door is locked. It's locked, but we got a key card in the last episode. I mean, no, not the episode 7. Let's use that here. As Spock would say, fascinating. On the slot. There we go. I don't know before that's probably... Okay, we seem to be in one of the guards' rooms. Now here we can take the wastebasket, surprisingly. You grab the wastebasket. There we go. Aren't you amazed by how much stuff an adventure game hero can carry? You've just got to know how to pack. That's true. Look at this. It's Candy Yams, the smart pinup girl. Apparently, she's had a monkey girl head digitally edited over her body. <laughs> it took a long time for you to notice. Okay. What's this? This poster seems to be an advertisement for an unreleased holographic game. All right. Can we smell it? The corner of the poster declares it to be a scratch and regret. You need to scratch it to get the proper experience. Okay, let's scratch it then. You scratch the scratch and regret poster. You are now prepared to regret the responses from smelling, tasting, and talking to it. Alright, what happens if I talk to it? I give up. What is the scratch and regret secret item supposed to be? The poster cries out, Monkey Balls! Oh, what? it's his special weapon in the game. Some kind of biological armament made in alien sweatshops. What the... It smells a teeny bit like bananas and sweaty fur. But there is a cloying, pungent smell at the forefront that makes your eyes water. Okay. It almost tastes like rancid meat. But even rancid meat tastes less offensive than this. You can't get the flavor off of your tongue. Whatever it is, you can clearly taste sweat. Okay, let's, uh... Enough of the pain and let's just You doodle out computer. a scene of you defeating a vine monster, but in the end, it looks like someone sneezed on the data pad. Let's look at the data pad, shall we? It reads three banana. That's right. That makes no sense to you. Banana? That's right, the whole secret to the series is the banana. And uh, really, the entire code sequence for that thing I mentioned earlier is just a bunch of bananas. Uh, but we're gonna save here. Banana. Nah. There we go. And now let's continue. Wait, if I go to the bottom of the screen, will I be safe? Yes! <laughs> awesome sauce. That. Oh no, it's going faster now. Dude. Run! Run away from that friggin' floor plane. You are gonna die. Oh. <laughs> wow. Anyway, now that we got that code, we can go to the. Um, the Wachimajigi. The, uh, 
yeah, the uh, level five, and um, put in that uh, deactivation code so we can um, get past that first field that was blocked earlier. So let's go do that. Come on. Come on, little Roger. Get in the hole. I mean, that's... <laughs> oh, jeez, I didn't mean to say it like that. Now it sounded dirty. Jeez Louise. Anyway. <laughs> I meant to say get in the... Get in the box. I don't know what I was trying to say. Ah, oh, jeez, man. But anyway, this is the prison compound over here. It's a force field. It's there to stop the bad guys getting out. Yes, but we're here to cause trouble, so let's go take a look at that keypad. And banana, 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 ding! Good work. The force field has been powered down. And we're gonna want to save. Because, uh... Because this area is rather lethal, unfortunately. So let's go take a look. Oh no! One of the cells is opening! Who knows what unspeakable whores wait behind those steel bars? Oh no. Okay, dude. This is another instance where you should probably run, but he can't run, so... Yeah. Oh no. No, dude, no. Oh, yuck! The dark and spiny beast with massive red lips grabs you up, and after a longing glance, proceeds... Don't read further if the phrase French kiss bothers you. To uh, plant a very moist French kiss on you, you are left quite stunned. And it doesn't kill us, at least not directly. Now let's take a look in here. Aha! You know a janitorial closet when you smell one. Almost at once, you sense an emptiness. A melancholy. It's quite dark in here. Yeah, we got a plunger from that. But I'm not really going to bother with this too much because, well, as you'll begin to see, that thing the alien did has already made our game unwinnable, and I'll show you what happens. If you goof around too long after getting kissed by the alien, uh, which is apparently taking a little longer than I thought it did. Hmm. Actually, I might... Should I just... Fast forward until the part where I get I don't know. Maybe it only happens if you after you enter a certain amount of screens, I'm not sure. But yeah, you do need that plunger, but like I said, unfortunately due to the um the game going the way it did, I won't be able to complete the game. Actually, oh maybe it doesn't actually do it to me. Maybe I should just uh save here. I mean just restore here and I'll uh, I won't bother with showing that death. Oh, no. Okay. Come on, get in there. Get in there, come on. Well, there's nothing I can do to control it at this point, so hopefully this should work. <laughs> okay. It's uh -huh. just gonna go outside the door. It's quite dark. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Jeez. Oh, you are. Okay, I think the only way I can actually get that is from the other entrance. Hang on. To restore again. Let's go down to the uh, other entrance to level 5. Sorry, it's taking so long, but oh well. Yeah, let's see, down to level 1 again. And there is no level 2! For whatever reason. At least, not that you can access to a normal gameplay, at least. I have no idea if there is a level 2 in this or not. Which is bizarre. I don't know. I'm not getting any of these notes right. <laughs> oh well. I'm surprised how cheery this music is for an evil villain player. It's quite interesting. Did I just use the hand on this and get there? You just need to. Okay. Thought I'd be saving myself a risky death, but oh well. Now, level 5. Okay, let's do this the proper way. Let's go inside the prison compound from this end. Actually, I think I should probably save first. Save. Just in case. Actually, this is probably going to be a pretty long episode. I might end it right after I get the plunger. I think that's what I'll do. Yeah, see, this way the beast doesn't actually come out until you're closer to the 
the uh, what you call it, the closet. So let's go in there. Aha! Uh -huh. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. I've heard that text three times already. Okay. Oh no! Now, here we go. Come on, just flip to the walk icon, please. There we go. Now let's get out of here. What the heck are those things in the other cells? That's what I wonder. I'm not gonna stay around to find out. What? What? Youch! You feel alarmingly lightheaded. Apparently, you were a prime focal point for some aggression channeling by one of the caged creatures. Your headless composition indicates that your attacker possesses considerable strength. A good guy to avoid in the future. Of course, you are damaged beyond repair, and the game must end. You've made quite a bit of progress, though. Don't start screwing up now. Are you bloody serious? Oh. Well, I think that's a good time to end the episode. See you guys next time. Uh, nothing much to say, really, but uh, other than signing off. I, I am signing off. Jeez. Oh, well. See you next time.